smash up that 70s expansion adds four new factions to smash up. It works as a standalone box as well as an expansion. AOG provided this in exchange for an honest review. I reviewed the base set in 2019 and I've added a link to that video at the end of this one. Because of that, I'll just focus on the new content. When you play standard, meaning non-persistent, actions that affect one minion, the disco dancers get to work mimicking that same effect. You can really chain things with cards like Disco Inferno and get down tonight. Funky Town allows you to duplicate the effects of an action on one of your minions there. Boogie Wonderland allows you to draw cards when standard actions affect one or more of your minions there. Kung Fu Fighters can gain power, transfer power, and destroy weaker minions. After playing a minion on Ancient Dojo, place plus one power on each of your weaker minions. When the tournament site scores, the winner gets a bonus VP for each opponent that was shut out. Trackers' on base actions can be moved and manipulate minions by protecting, boosting, or moving them. If an action on the greasy spoon is sent to this card pile, it is instead shuffled back into its owner's deck. At the start of your turn, you may move an action on truck stop to another base or from another base to here. Vigilantes only have 7 minions but all have a power of 4 and react to opponents as minions and actions. Their actions cover a range of things from protecting your minions to destroying opposing minions and messing with bases to drawing cards. Minions on hideout cannot be affected by opponents. When an action played on the mean streets affects a card there, other players may plus a plus one power on a minion. Four new factions either to add to your Smash Up game or as your introduction to it. That's Smash Up That 70s Expansion. Smash Up That 70s Expansion, including setup and takedown, usually takes around an hour. Two and three player games might work on an average coffee table. Save four player games for the dining table. There is a lot of reading on the cards and you'll need to calculate the points on a base every time a card is played there. Honestly though, it's a fun way to practice math. Kids a nut might benefit from playing this but might need help tracking everything. Maybe use poker trips or dry erase boards to keep the totals visible. The disco dancers remind me of the wave because of how they could trigger a few actions slash bonuses in a row. This standard action affects another minion if it already affected one or more this turn. That's fun and fits the dance theme, going from partner to partner. I don't know if that's very 70s, but I think it's cool. I like them third most because they can be an army if luck is on your side, but if not, because of this they pair well with the time travelers. The kung fu fighters can kick butt with just three cards, a drunken master, a cricket, and a lady whirlwind. Oh, and their other cards are also good. They are ridiculously powerful in a 1v1 game. I think they're second best because their minions and some of their actions manipulate cards and especially power, which I really like. A great match would be the vampires. You'll be gaining power left and right. Despite all this, they aren't quite my favorite. As you can imagine, the truckers are big movers. Their actions set up on bases and can also move. If luck is on your side, cause chaos by rolling into a base and taking over. They're my least favorite in the box. Because they need to make their deck work for them, try them with the tricksters. Your opponents will hate you. Want to dominate? Pair vigilantes with cyborg apes or shapeshifters. Those factions as actions manipulate and boost minions. Your opponents will get nervous and play an action, triggering the vigilantes. This unique deck reminds me of the princesses in that they only have a few minions but all have the same power. Four. I like this small box almost as much as science fiction double feature. Maybe there's a reason why I think some of those factions will work well with these. Anyhow, I'll happily use any deck from this box. Keep watching for more Smash Up reviews each month as I go through our entire collection.